Good morning. Uh, my name is William Nelson. I'm the president of the CHS Foundation and vice president for corporate citizenship for CHS. I appreciate the opportunity to participate in the conference uh, in this manner this morning and regret that uh, I can't be with you. I will be available online uh, to help answer questions as part of the panel uh, following the presentations. Uh, first, a word about CHS. CHS is a farmer-owned cooperative. We're owned by about 360,000 farmers and ranchers uh, across the U.S., headquartered out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, we're in the grain marketing business, uh, the energy business, uh, insurance, uh, risk management, crop nutrients, and really in the food industry on behalf of the farmer owners of CHS. We have a very, very focused mission. And, and by the way, our foundation was started in 1946, so we've been around a long time as well. Our focus mission for both corporate and foundation giving is very simply investing in the next generation of agriculturalists. Uh, and that uh, basically uh, young people growing up in rural communities, people who want to live careers, um, earn a living in rural communities. And we do that through supporting uh, five different program areas in the foundation, cooperative education, rural youth leadership development, uh, university partnerships, ag safety, and then uh, returning value to rural communities. Our mission in corporate giving is very similar. It's just got more of a corporate uh, side to it as well as we do employee engagement such as uh, charitable giving, uh, disaster relief, and uh, volunteerism. We were approached uh, by eExtension a few years ago to see if we would be interested in investing in a uh, community of practice. And we, 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 we checked into it. It was a, a new thing for us, and uh, we were, um, along with the extension, I think, learning how to uh, interact uh, between the public and private sector. We decided to fund a community of practice on cooperatives, which is up and running. Uh, we got a lot of support from USDA, and while we provided some financial support, the real heroes in it were the faculty and others who stepped forward and uh, picked this up and ran with it, and they're doing some phenomenal things. Uh, jumping forward, we're at a position now in uh, corporate giving for CHS and the foundation that we're significantly expanding our support of education and research and extension on cooperatives. Uh, through a number of programs, but the one caveat that we have with anyone who is seeking support from us is that they have to be linked into e-extension. Uh, we just we see that as the as, as a base and also an opportunity. We also expect them to contribute to the e-extension community of practice. Uh, following that and the success of that program, we decided to uh, invest in another community of practice. This one on ag health and safety. This is a, a newer community of practice. We were, again, fortunate to uh, be able to work with a, an excellent group of faculty, primarily organized through the, the NCR group on uh, ag health and safety. Uh, again, they're, they're up and running, uh, and as we look forward to the support that we're doing from both CHS Corporate Citizenship and the Foundation, a caveat is you need to be aware of extension you need to use it and you need to contribute to it we're hoping in turn that we can uh, help encourage other um, businesses uh, within agriculture and, and really anywhere else to look at uh, this opportunity to invest resources into a what we think is really a vital and exciting system the just to finally to wrap up a couple of observations that that I've had in, in my role in, in this process, and again, I would reiterate, uh, it really is a minor role uh, in terms of being helping connect the, the resources provided by our farmers to the, to the faculty and the people developing it. But uh, what I tell people and they ask us why, what, what do you see in e-extension? Uh, one of the first things that I, I bring up is I see the, the technology behind e-extension second to none. And I think that's really important. I think I've watched as e-extension has uh, evolved through um, various iterations and tried things. And when things didn't work exactly right, they were very open to 
going back and making adjustments. And it's, it's been very, very solid. And I, and I think, especially for a funder, when you're talking to organizations that are relying a lot on using electronic technology and, and social media, to be sure that they really know what they're doing. I, I can unequivocally, unequivocally say that uh, I think eExtension really knows what they're doing. Uh, eExtension to us has also demonstrated adaptability. Um, being able to be proactive in dealing with issues and experimentation. I think it, it also has demonstrated to us the ability to deal with important traditions and reality, uh, things like uh, academic, peer review, dealing with promotion and tenure issues, uh, publication, um, copyright uh, protection, protection of intellectual property, et cetera. And I, I think that's something that maybe a lot of people who are not directly involved with universities, especially in the land grants and in agriculture, um, and all of the related areas in which cooperative extension is involved, is really realize is that they really have mastered that. To us, uh, it's become our example of, the, of how to do public-private partnerships. And uh, I think maybe a lot of you would agree here uh, in this program today that public-private partnerships are really gonna be a key to the future. Cooperative Extension benefited from getting very strong public support uh, in its origin and throughout the years. And I'm certainly not suggesting that should go away, but I think Realistically, uh, we need to, um, we from the private sector need to step up and provide more resources uh, to this very important resource. We think that, uh, you know, this is just a very unique opportunity to extend a lot of legacy with a lot of innovation, uh, very soundly based in research, uh, academically uh, sound in every way, experimentation, um, innovation, been very proactive in, in looking at uh, being a solution to the next generation as they uh, take on the important responsibilities of feeding 9 billion people. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.